Perfect harmony is in. All right, the last one's moved up, right? So we're all set. Ready to run. They're off as well. And Asterism dwelt at the start, missed it, went straight back. Mogul Magic, the first to leave. It'll settle down in front of Alexis Olympia, Long Beach, and also Hula Hoops is up there prominent early. Being followed then by Crash Hat Lady, who's now started to muster some pace. Sculpted Universe going around it. Perfect Harmony up behind those. One off the rails early from Uncanny Timing and Asterism. Return of Smile and Dore. And back there last of all is Davida at the 500, nearing the corner and Mogul Magic led by more than a length on Alexis Olympia running second. Over on the inside then is Hula Hoops prominently placed coming into the home straight off around them. Now Hall now starts to put the favourite into the race. Long Beach coming out after Mogul Magic who stepped it up a cog at the 252 in front but here comes Long Beach now and Long Beach descended upon Mogul Magic swept past it followed then by Alexis Olympia then came Hula Hoops but it's going to all be Long Beach and Long Beach comes away to win it comfortably from Alexis Olympia a good tussle for third. Uncanny timing finished well late down the outside. Might have got it from Hula Hoops. Crash Hat Lady behind them. A tidy run as well. And likewise, Perfect Harmony from Auray Mogul Magic, who got weary. Followed further back by Davida. The last few home, they included Asterism, Return of Smile, and Sculpted Universe had whipped them all in. Number three is the winner, Long Beach. First up, written by Peter Hall, the I Am Invincible three-year-old and has quickly gathered up mogul magic when Hall really put pressure on this youngster having his first run back this preparation and only his third lifetime start. And out of Avenida Madeiro, great mare herself and uh, how proficient she's been in the breeding barn and she comes up with yet another individual winner. Long Beach for Grant and Alana Williams, Peter Hall riding defeat six Alexis Olympia. Henny Hughes, mere five-year-old on debut, has run well. And third home, four-run canny timing, finishing well late in the race. Andrew Castle for trainer Kath Fleming. 3-6-4-14 Hula Hoops just nudged out of the thin edge of the wedge in fourth placing there. And behind those was Mogul Magic, who are pretty tired. Crash Hat Lady was a handy enough run, not too far from those place getters. 59.34 was the time, two and a quarter by one. And the first two favourites saluting here at this Twilight Ascot K. The third, the Schweppes Handicap, once again over the 1,000 at 4.20. Seven, Vital Blast and nine, Universal Appeal are the scratching. Seven and nine coming out of race number three. So we can take you back now down into the winner's enclosure. And despite a little drift in the market from $1.90 to 2.25, it dispelled any doubts that some punters would have had with Long Beach's return here this afternoon, Brittany. Certainly, Darren. I do have Grant Williams with me now. Grant, resuming today, that's how you like to see them break maiden status. Was it a horse that was always going to be better with a little bit of time and come back a better horse this preparation? He's definitely grown a lot, Britt. Um, when he come back into the stable this time, he shot up. Um, obviously, still got a lot to do, but he, yeah, the improvement was really good. Um, he showed us that he could gallop when he runs second as one of Simon's last time in. So, yeah, it's good for him to come back and do that. So often we see the Cerise and White right back in the field. He was relatively prominent today. Was that a preconceived plan going in? No, not really. I don't really tell him too much. Um, uh, Pete did his own thing, but we had a good gait. I uh, just had to use him a little bit to get there, but it's a good spot to be. It certainly was, and the way he ran home, very impressive indeed. Do you expect him to have a few more runs this campaign and just start working through the grades? Yeah, I think that that'll be the, the case with him. I don't think we need to be hurrying too much with him. He's still got a lot of developing to do, so you know what, how Bob is, we'll give him a few starts and he'll probably go back out. In terms of distance, what do you expect uh, him to get up to? Yeah, look, looking at his stride then, he, he'll get a little bit. I don't know if he's going to be able to stretch him out, but I don't know, um, we'll just have a guess. Hopefully one day we'll get him to a mile, but probably 1,400 would stop him, I'd say. All right, well, it's a, a nice uh, maiden victory here and looking forward to what he can do for the remainder. Well done. Thank you. Grant Williams, trainer of Long Beach, alongside his wife, Alana, uh, speaking on behalf of owner breeder Bob Peters and after the victory of Long Beach, a wonderful family, Avenida Madeira, a great producer, and Long Beach adds to that winning tally of horses that she's produced. Yeah, Avenida Madeira so was a superstar sprinter herself and she's thrown all sorts, including respondent and state solicitor. So sprinters, derby winners, you name it. Avenida Madeira has thrown them and uh, it'll be interesting to see where Long Beach goes next because he had that race won a long, long way out.
And the ears pricked on the line. That was uh, as easy as it's done uh, for this horse. Peter Hall was able to <clears throat> land him in that lovely position, 1-1, one, one, which is probably a little bit more prominent than we do usually see uh, Bob Peter's horses. But uh, it worked perfectly for them today. And as soon as he was able to put him out into the straight, he extended nicely. Ears pricked on the line. It was as easy as that. Peter Hall will jump on the scales. He's always happy to put on these colours. And he would have been happy to hear Pikey was heading across to uh, Melbourne to play in the cricket game because that means you get to don the silks and jump on a nice horse. Yeah, that's right. Lisa and I were nearly going to go and watch the tennis and uh, we changed our mind late and lucky we did because uh, Willie's gone for a holiday as well. So, yeah, nice to pick up these rides. You settled pretty prominently today. Was that uh, something that you thought you'd do pre-jumping out of the barrier or just where you ended up? Oh, no, I wanted him to jump good, Brittany, but, you know, obviously on one of Bob's we wanted to get cover. So, one out, one back was the best um, spot we could have and... You know, he really had the race and control once he got there. Ears pricked on the line. Was it just a, a canter for him? Yeah, look, he's still learning and have a good look around. So that's why I put in the left, just to keep him interested. But he's got a good future. Well, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Peter Hall, Grant, Alana, Williams combined.